Greetings and welcome to Smartwatch Ticks. We're a YouTube channel on the web at smartwatchticks.com doing everything smartwatches and smart fitness bands. Well, there's your way, there's my way, and then there's Huawei. Huawei has come up with their Huawei Band 3 Pro. The 3 has been out already. This is the Pro, and the Pro adds GPS in this tiny little thing. That's going to be really cool. Well, we got to get into the box. And before I slice it open, let me tell you a little bit about this. Our good buddies over at Geek Buying have sponsored this one. They brought us the Huawei Band 3 Pro Smart Bracelet, and it's got a bunch of specs, so let's go through them. It's a 0.95 inch AMOLED screen. Should be nice and bright and clear. Built in GPS, heart rate monitoring and so forth. It's uh, running Bluetooth 4.2 and it's water resistance to five atmospheres, meaning you can definitely swim with it. Six axis internal sensors, separate PPG, that's your heart rate uh, diode detector on the back and infrared detector for better overall heart rate detection. It's got health tracker, heart rate sensors, sleep trackers, all kinds of good stuff. It vibrates, okay, and it's a 120 by 240 pixel screen, 100 milliamp hour battery, operating time about 100 minutes. I'm going to show you some charts on that, on um, the standby time and so forth. Uh, five days, seven days, 12 days. If you have these different features turned on or off, including scientific sleep, sounds ominous, doesn't it? Um, and you get seven hours with the independent GPS turned on. That is a special low, um, low power GPS. They call it stamina. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, metal frame with uh, un unidentified unified <laughs> anyway probably plastic the rest of it and um it's got the uh, apk uh, support of the huawei health app which is what we'll be using for tethering and that's the specs and to go over briefly some of the highlights they want us to cover color touch display the built-in gps that's the big thing and it also includes uh, blood oxygen, VO2 max, and recovery time uh, information with your workouts. The 24-7 Smarter Heart Rate Monitoring, okay, using an IR light uh, with uh, intelligent artificial intelligence built into it with, uh, what does it say, up to the second heartbeat, uh, heart rate data, day or night, with the true scene 3.0 precision heart rate monitoring system. A lot of good stuff going on in here. Hey, it's Huawei, right? Scientific sleep monitoring explained. The swim uh, function is smarter and better. It can detect your different strokes. Water resistant up to 50 meters. Amazing, good swimming watch. Um, it's got the self camera button so you can tie it to your phone and remotely take pictures. And you can find your phone if it's lost. So you've got all those things going for it. Let's look at that chart to kind of compare it before we open the box. This is the Huawei Band 3 Pro. It compares to the Huawei Band 3 by having the built-in GPS. And its battery life is diminished when you activate it. There is a Huawei Honor Band 4 out there. They're not giving us a lot of details on it other than to say it's got a longer battery life than the other two. It looks like a much smaller display though. Separate reviews on that one and that one and now we're talking about this one. So let's tie into that box now. Get a first look at it. I mean literally first look. You can see it came sealed. This is how it shows up. Oh, good presentation. It's got the documentation first, which is right in here, the band and the accessories. In here is, it looks like a Chinese manual. I hope we have an English version of it. I don't think so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, a lot, a lot of the times are really big companies like Huawei and Xiaomi and Amazfit and all of them, uh, they release a Chinese version of their stuff, and then they do an English version or an international version later. 
So the fact that we've got a Chinese manual may give us an issue. I'm not sure. Hopefully when we tether it to the uh, phone, it will automatically switch to English. Otherwise, we'll use the icon approach of trying to figure out what it's showing us. So here's everything in the manual in Chinese. For those of you who want to throw your Google Translator, yeah, it will work if you take your phone and point it to YouTube on a, your computer or your tablet or something. You should be able to um, translate some of that. Let's get into the band itself. Here we go. Oh, looks like a nice quality build. Very thin um, strap, so uh, works well for women. Uh, not too thick. You got two charging ports. The diodes, infrared and regular PPG. Looks like we've got a cover over it. Let's see if we can get that off. Mm -hmm. uh, the bands are not removable because we have the charging port right there. Oh, we've got all sorts of barcode stuff related to it. And in here, then we've got the charger. It looks like it's going to be a dock on this one. Hello, dock. Sometimes we have the magnetic clasps. Oh, wow. That's all the glue is really hard on that one. Yep. And when we open this up, we have got our separate, they shipped it with a separate little USB uh, cord plugged already into the dock. And the dock is a snap-on kind. So it should line up with that part and that part together and click, you think, right into there. I got that right. There, there you go. And that's exactly what we're gonna do right now is charge it up. And um, wow, it is thin. Looks like it's gonna be an interesting thing to review. Be right back. Well, here it is after actually several days use. I have it on and it's got that auto twist to light it up action. There it goes. Uh, I don't have it off. I was going to usually turn them off and then turn it back on so you can see the boot up process. But in this one, if you turn it off, it stays off. And the only way to turn it on is to hook it back up to its charger. So we're already on. I'm on the lowest brightness on this AMOLED screen. It has a quick timeout, and I don't have a way of adjusting that, so I have to keep touching it to bring it back to life. But I want to walk you through first what we've got on the band, and then tie into the tethering app. You can see from this watch face, if it'll stay a little bit, that I've got temperature. It's even in Fahrenheit, because that's selectable from the app. I have the fact that it's Bluetooth tethered to the phone, the time in AM and PM if I want, or 24 hour, and the date, along with my step count. Now it's sad, I just put it on for today because I've been doing all the uh, Android watches. Um, it's been a couple of days since I actually gave this one a run through, so I only have two steps on it. But we're going to see some past history on the app. If I go back this way, it's showing you two steps out of a circle that's my overall goal uh, of, of 8,000 steps. So you don't even really see any indicator there. Come one more and I get into heart rate and I touch it and it'll begin to um, testing my heart rate. And it's pretty darn quick. Look at that to get the initial response. And then it's going to do several readings before actually settling down on the last one. Now I remind you. This is the lowest brightness setting and it's almost washing out the camera. This thing is awesome outdoors. It really is. I've been able to look at this driving in a car with the sun shining on it and easily just twist my wrist and read the time. So they have very much improved these screens. It's not always on, uh, but it is always bright. We'll put it that way. And there's a setting you'll see that I don't have turned on yet. Um, that allows you to adjust the brightness depending on if it's bright or dim inside or outside. So it's got a light sensor built into it. There you go. Gave me the heart rate reading and I could retake it again, but it's registered the actual reading after it averaged a bunch of them. That's really good. So it's not just bouncing all over the place. You get an actual final result. Now we're back to the time. Let's run through this again. There's the uh, step count the heart rate. Then we come into last night's sleep time. Nothing to show because I didn't wear it last time, but on the app I'll show you some stuff. When I get into workout, 
I can choose a variety of different workouts and the ones like an outdoor walk and an outdoor run and outdoor cycling uh, tie into the GPS. You also have pool swim and open water because this puppy is deeply uh, waterproof and um, just basic free training as well. We'll take a look at these things. I, uh, what I can say about the GPS is that it locks in really good. I'll hit the play. It says move to an uh, outdoor area, which of course is where I tested this was outdoors. And when it locks up into GPS, it gives the countdown and it begins. Now, we're indoors, so we're not going to take your time on that. But you can set uh, goals and things in that, lengths of time you want to bike, and all, all sorts of goodies are available to you in the workout. One more, and you're in Alipay, which I can't test. I'm in the U.S., so it doesn't, uh, doesn't work for me here in the U.S.A. This is a QR code kind of an event. Uh, after you get it all set up, you have to get your payment agreement going. A lot of stuff going on there. And if you're in the right place where it works, it's something you could use. You get to more. This is where we can change our watch faces. This is the uh, core face that we just saw. But I also have available a face that looks like this with uh, all your step count and such down at the bottom and an analog face. So there's three different faces. We saw that one, so I'll go into this one. And here you've got uh, what the date up here are spelled out and AMPM shown. Just a bunch of different ways of portraying the same data. And that was in the more, which we got to here. Then you have your find your phone if you're tethered. You're gonna make a sound. Right here, right here. Right here. Okay, <laughs> I'm here. Oh. <laughs> then we have a, uh, a timer, an actual um, timer that you can set a countdown timer. That was uh, minutes and then seconds, two minutes and three seconds and start. And that's going to be counting down, which we're going to leave happening in the background to see if it'll ha uh, work for us. And then I have a count up stopwatch. And we're running that in tenths of a second at the same time. If I hit the X, it'll keep going. But it doesn't let me scroll out of here. So you have to stay in stopwatch mode if you want to use stopwatch. However, our timer should... No, it's not. The timer's not counting down anymore. Hmm, well, maybe you just can't use the two together. Let's try it again. We're counting down from 203, but I'm leaving this, not going into stopwatch, but showing you the brightness. Here you go. The lower brightness at night, uh, you can switch that on, and I guess it's going to dim it down quite a bit at night. But if you want to change the brightness here, we're at level one. There's level two... And here is level three. Let's get back to the opening screen. Well, one more thing would be messages and then the screen. Now, you see how washed out it is? It's not actually washed out like that. The camera just can't keep up with it. It is seriously bright. If I took it in the bright sun, I can easily see all of that. So the brightness setting is, uh, is really, really powerful in this. And of course, it loops around so you can get to it going backwards that way if you want to. Let's change the brightness back down to level one. Come out of here and let's check that timer. Is it still running? No, it's not. All right. Well, there you go. Both the timer and the stopwatch, you have to leave it in that mode. So you couldn't like timer run and then go look at your heart rate and wait for the timer to go off. That's unfortunate. I'd like to see it as a, uh, a simultaneous thing, multitasking. You can reset the watch, you can restart the watch, and you can power off here. Ah, and what it says is um, connect the charging base to the power on. I think I just, did I turn it off? Oh, okay, I wanna X out of that and do it again and hit uh, power off. And there you go. It says connect the charging base and your band will power on automatically. And if I say that and I hit the check mark, it's going to be powered off permanently, which we don't want to do for what we're doing here. Okay, we were in more. One more thing, I think. After power off, regulatory stuff and about. And about tells you the device name, the Huawei Band 3 Pro 
and its designator for finding it when you're tethering, MAC address and serial number and firmware install. And there's updates for firmware and everything directly from um, the app as well, which is where we're going to go next. You ready? We're using Huawei Health from the Google Play Store. And before we open it, I want to go in here to the Read More, where it tells you a little bit about it, what it does, and just pay notice to the fact that there's been over 100 million downloads of the Huawei Health app. So this is their master uh, app that they use with all kinds of things, including this fancy um, Band 3 Pro. Let's open it up. It's already set up, and here's some of the data that I've got from before. Um, this is today's data we're looking at overall right here. And I've got some exercise records in here that I've already accumulated. And I'm going to show you those in a little bit. And we've got the heart rate section. Again, I just put it on so I don't have my daily stuff for today. But if I scroll back a few days, it's the 20th, the 19th. There we go. The 18th, the 19th. Look at how fun it is, how it scrolls. And then I can go through and find any particular point at any particular time on any particular day when I took the band off, when I have it on, when I was exercising. All of that is available to us. It gives us a, um, a resting heart rate if it has time to calculate that and a high heart rate alert if you actually exceed that alert, I guess. Plus, you have weekly information, too, that shows you your range on the particular day of the week. That's pretty fun. Sleep report information. Didn't sleep last night, but I did do a night. There we go. That's the sleep report. There's the actual breakdown of the um, REM sleep and light and deep awake time. And I get a score. It said I woke up five times during the night, drink some water before, less water before bed and so forth. And then you get a synopsis of the different uh, sections and how you slept during those sections. And, and check this out. I actually have, okay, here's a little thing that talked about um, the data and presentation of your sleep. And this is, this is that sleep report here, I believe. Um, my sleep score is 77. And you can actually just hit here and share it. And I just sent it uh, as an attachment to an email and then opened the email and printed it out. So there's everything that you see here on here. So if you'd like to keep a notebook of all these things, if you still use paper, gosh, who in the world does, uh, you could actually um, do that and print it out. And a lot of the other things that you have on here are available for printout too, when you just go in to share and set it up. And that's what it's going to look like. You can save it and you can uh, share it right from there after you preview it. So good stuff on uh, sleep. Wait, I haven't played with. It's a manual entry thing unless you have a special scale. And then it's just going to give you one data point for weight. But that's there. Those are the only cards you have. You can rearrange them if you want to. That's available. And then you get down to your overall steps, which is related to this. And it's showing my uh, totals over the different days. So let's take a look again uh, back a little bit beyond today to see what I had when I was actually working with this band. Oh, you know what? I'm in months. I don't want months. Sorry about that. Let's go to day. Okay, here's... Today, yesterday, there we go. Do you see all that fun stuff, how it got big and then and then dropped down? I, I walked the greatest step between 9 and 9.30 in the morning on June the 19th, 1,500 steps that day. The day before that, I had a few steps here in the afternoon. And you can see within each half-hour window how many steps you walked, what your total was, was it running, walking, or climbing? It figures that out automatically from the sensors on board. And all that is uh, taken care of right there. And that's just in the home screen. If you go to your Me, you can uh, set up your device. This is the actual device here. You can set your goals, your personal profile, and any messages. Um, you can actually do data sharing by linking it to Google Fit or MyFitnessPal. If you use either of those, and it'll transfer the data. 
And you have your overall settings here too for notification management on which things you would like pushed from the phone to the watch, your heart rate limit and zones. And this is really cool because they calculate all this stuff out for you automatically based on your um, profile information you put in. And you can activate or deactivate a heart rate warning. You can base it on the HR Max computation, or you can actually change it and put in your own uh, computations if you'd like to, too, uh, based on whatever factors you and your doctor have decided on you need to do. You can change the, um, the units as well, and then just your basic um, legal information, I guess, that goes along with it. And the exercise tab, we want to go into that one. Anything else? Not really. Okay, you have a couple of tabs here, indoor run and outdoor run. On the indoor run, um, you can set your goals and you can hit the start and go. If I switch it to outdoor run, it immediately accesses Google Maps and everything you see here in the picture is replaced with the map of your location with your dot on there. And you'll see your trajectory plotted on the graph as you actually exercise using the uh, phone now, not using the band. So if you don't have the band with you and you still want to get your data and you can take your phone with you, you can do it all right here from your phone as well. But if you do have your uh, band with you, with the phone or without the phone, you have GPS in it. So you're able to get all of that data um, transferred over from here to here. So let's take a look at that. Okay, I selected one of the cycling uh, events and I have it on a page here and this is showing the track. If I click this, it shows the map actually on here and I can zoom in and out on all my locations and streets and everything. It's got the date and time that this was done and it's got information on it. So the only thing you're not seeing here is the underlying map. But I have these tabs at the top or I can scroll through here from, oh no, I can't. I actually have to hit them, I guess. I'm just moving the map. There, I can go into speed. It shows you each mile, what my mile speed was and which one was the fastest. Now, Uncle Tix was sitting as passenger in a car playing with the cycling mode. Uh, <laughs> so it's not really me on a bike. Um, someday it will be. Here's the charts. That's why my heart rate isn't as big as I guess it could be. But uh, you get these great charts that show you where you were at a particular time, what your breakdown is and what zones you were working in. And then your overall speed is shown on here as well. So you've got those charts and then you've got a summary of your details, which include a recovery period for uh, anaerobic uh, training or aerobic training effect. And recovery time was uh, five hours, but I wasn't doing anything. so. Okay, that's reasonable, I guess, to take five hours. I'm going to come back here. I'm going to come back here. I'm going to take you into this first thing. This was an actual like half hour uh, workout session. Uh, I burned 110 calories. Because there's not going anywhere, there's no actual graph. But I do have a chart of my heart rate in here. And it was one of those things where you do intervals, right? So I could get my heart rate up and then I would wait and let it cool down and then do it again and do it again and kind of repeating it. And so you're seeing this really interesting chart, which I can't pinch and zoom, unfortunately, or zero in on. What? Okay, I guess I can. Oh, that's sweet. You just have to turn it sideways. A lot of these apps have created stuff, so just play with them to see what happens. 104, dropping down to 67. So really nice, uh, broad range. And for me, pretty quick recovery time. It's not taking a long time to come down. Uh, it's pretty sharp after I stop whatever I'm doing. And wow, you can expand that too. And you can either slide the graph or you can slide the... Wow, this is great. Isn't that great? No wonder 100 million people use this particular app. Very, very nice. This is just a... A view, you just go into it and look at it in landscape if you want to really drill down into it. Okay, that's pretty much your categories here that you have. You can add them. You can look at your overall statistics by the day. And I get back in here to an earlier day. Oh, I'm on weeks. Okay, well, I really don't have weeks to show you. So I don't have a whole lot of data. But here you got weeks, months, and years in total. 
um, of all of your information for the particular year 2019 we're in. Anyway, yeah, you, you could use this forever, it looks like, runner statistics. Okay, that's an overview of the app. <laughs> That's an overview of the band, and just to tell you that the TPU is really, really nice. It's very stretchy, soft, a lot of holes. You can easily get it just as tight as you want without over-tightening it. It's available right now from Geek Buying, and we really appreciate Geek Buying supporting us on this one. It's the Huawei Band 3 Pro now, not the regular one. And it's uh, under 50 bucks to get a thin little thing like this with GPS built into it that does an excellent job of actually tracking your trajectory and giving you the accurate distance data, pace, cadence, all the kind of things you're looking for, which you can get when you tie into GPS that you don't quite get as accurate if you don't have that GPS integration. Check the show notes down below for a buying link. We'll look to see if we can get you a discount and it helps us out if you buy from our link. Uh, we'll keep getting more goodies in to show you like we did today. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.